وإذ قال إبراهيم رب اجعل هذا البلد آمنا واجنبني وبني أن نعبد الأصنام رب إنهن أضللن كثيرا من الناس فمن تبعني فإنه مني ومن عصاني فإنك غفور رحيم ربنا إني أسكنت من ذريتي بواد غير ذي زرع عند بيتك المحرم ربنا ليقيموا الصلاة فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم وارزقهم من الثمرات لعلهم يشكرون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذ قال إبراهيم رب اجعل هذا البلد آمنا واجنبني وبني أن نعبد الأصنام رب إنهن أضللن كثيرا من الناس فمن تبعني فإنه مني ومن عصاني فإنك غفور رحيم ربنا إني أسكنت من ذريتي بواد غير ذي زرع عند بيتك المحرم ربنا ليقيموا الصلاة فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم وارزقهم من الثمرات لعلهم يشكرون إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أمهات المؤمنين وعلى من اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, I'm your host Kareem Abu Zaid and this is another edition of Worship Your Lord Uh, this is uh, a Monday edition. We haven't done this for a while, uh, but here we are back uh, doing this. Uh, Alhamdulillah, for uh, uh, the first time in a while, actually, we haven't uh, uh, done uh, Worship Your Lord, uh, which is the uh, La ilaha illallah book. Uh, so, inshallah, today we will um, uh, be more of a a general, general subject and uh, allowing question and answer uh, as we go, insha'Allah. So let me show my numbers here. Uh, so this way you can uh, give us a call, insha'Allah. Uh, discussion about uh, Tawheed and uh, about uh, La ilaha illallah, uh, insha'Allah. And uh, also answering your uh, general questions, uh, Uh, Ta'ala. Uh, you can call 303-500-5101. Uh, that is a WhatsApp number or a regular number, one of the two. Uh, and also, uh, we can receive your calls, uh, your questions on the chat and on the uh, comment section, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala, my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, worship your Lord is available, alhamdulillah, for free, alhamdulillah. Uh, on uh, my website karimabuzid.com if you go there you will find the pdf uh, if you happen to buy to buy it alhamdulillah that's uh, inshallah a donation towards cmcc uh, so make it an intention as a donation you buy it with a, an intention of donation uh, towards cmcc um, uh, in this book we uh, we address the subject of uh, tawheed and uh, We uh, began with the uh, subject of the grave worship and the danger of the grave worship 
and how uh, <clears throat> that shirk already started in earth uh, because of the grave worship. Uh, then we went into the uh, actual uh, topic or actual subject uh, of La ilaha illallah. Uh, and what we did was we um, uh, uh, explained uh, La ilaha illallah uh, in the Quran and La ilaha illallah in the Sunnah. Uh, and then uh, after that we spoke about the benefit of La ilaha illallah and, and, and so forth. Uh, let me see here if I can uh, share my screen with you. Uh, I, I already prepared something uh, to share, but if you open the book, inshallah, you, you, you're going to be able to. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so here is the book right here. Okay, now just going through it. How do you go through the book? Okay, I think you have to be on the page, the exact page. But this is how the book looks like, brothers and sisters in Islam. Right here, La ilaha illallah, worship your Lord. Uh, now, I think you have to identify a certain page. Okay, the grave worship opposition to monotheism. Well, uh, let's discuss this uh, uh, subject today, uh, which is the grave worship opposition to monotheism. Uh, the grave worship opposition to monotheism. That's what we want to discuss today, which is chapter number four. If you open the book, chapter number four, the grave worship opposition of monotheism. And in this chapter, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, I explained why the people who follow the bid'ah uh, don't like the categorization of Tawheed. That you uh, categorize Tawheed into Tawheed al rububiyya wa Tawheed al-Uluhiyya wa Tawheed al-Asma'i wa sifat For them, Tawheed is only uh, in the area of al-Rububi. That's all Tawheed is for them. So, uh, as long as you believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, is the sustainer, is the provider, uh, the acts uh, uh, of, 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 of lordship, uh, then you are a monotheist, you're muwahid. Now, what about directing acts of worship which are exclusive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to others like the saints, the awliya? Oh, that's okay. As long as you believe Allah is the creator, Allah is the sustainer, Allah is the provider. What about giving the saints the attributes of Allah. Oh, it's okay as long as you believe Allah is the creator. Allah. That's exactly what they want. So, you're still on Tawheed as long as you, are, you believe that Allah is the creator, the sustainer, and the provider. And subhanAllah, this is the same exact approach of the Arabs at the time of revelation. This is what they believed at the time of revelation, uh, when the Quran was revealed. This is uh, the people or the uh, ideology of the people at the time of revelation. وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ If you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will say Allah. So they don't deny the Lordship. But what they denied, they denied the worship. That, uh, and, and that is why you always find in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, using what they affirm uh, to question them regarding what they do not affirm. قُلْ لِمَنِ الْأَرْضُ وَمَنْ فِيهَا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ 
Look at the question. Say to them to whom belongs the earth and what in earth. If you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows they, they're going to see Allah. Allah. So Allah knows that they affirm that. Then the question, why do you then direct your worship? And when we say worship, dua. When I go and I invoke the disease, that's worship, dua, to, to others beside Allah, when you believe that he's the one who created. The, uh, uh, the grave worshippers, normally, they don't like that you categorize Tawheed uh, into Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, Tawheed al-Asma'i wal-Sifat, or the two types, you know, you know, you can categorize Tawheed uh, many ways. And, and by the way, um, this is something that helps people understand the concepts of Tawheed. Uh, and that is why we don't stick to one categorization. Uh, it can actually be the two types. اللي توحيد العلم الخبري توحيد السيادة that, that you know who Allah is his names and attributes and his actions of lordship and then توحيد العبادة then you go into uh, worshiping Allah سبحانه وتعالى توحيد العبادة أو توحيد الألوهية uh, it can be four types it can في, be four types uh, evidence of Allah's existence you prove that Allah exists, Allah is Lordship, Allah is names and attributes, Allah is worship. Four. And the three, the famous categorization, which is the three, that Allah is the Lord, and no one is like him, and that is why I worship him. That's the three. So the people who follow the uh, bid'ah, and they want to find a liwi, Aliwi, uh, in order to promote their uh, culture, uh, they say, listen, Tawheed is one type, which is what? Allah is Lordship. That's it. As long as you believe Allah is the creator, Allah is the sustainer, Allah is the provider, then no question asked. Uh, there was also another chapter, brothers and sisters in Islam, and I think that's the chapter... Uh, chapter 5 in the book, if, if you look in part 1, that the grave worshippers, they oppose the Prophet ﷺ, even though they claim that they follow the Prophet ﷺ. They claim that. But in reality, they oppose the Prophet ﷺ in so many ways. Take, for example, the Prophet ﷺ warned the Muslims against taking the graves as a place of worship. Hadith لعن الله اليهود والنصارى اتخذوا قبور أنبيائهم وصالحيهم مساجد May the curse of Allah be upon the uh, uh, disbelievers from the children of Israel for taking the uh, masajid as a places of worship. As a places of worship. Uh, Tahir, I'm live right now. Are you aware of that? Okay. All right. Okay. Assalam. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. So they have taken the houses of their, uh, uh, the, the graves of their messengers and prophets as a place of worship. Right? Ala inni anhaakum an dhalik. Look at this. ألا إني أنهاكم عن ذلك ألا إني أنهاكم عن ذلك I forbid you from doing this I forbid you from doing this I forbid you from doing this uh, The narrator of the hadith Jabir ibn Abdullah رضي الله عنهما He said I heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saying this five days before he passed away و, uh, Another hadith uh, which is in the book uh, I mentioned I think a couple of hadith but uh, the, the one that I, I, I remember quite well the story of Umm Salama 
when she uh, uh, migrated to Abyssinia with her family, and we know that Abyssinia uh, was a Christian land, uh, so she saw in the churches uh, uh, the graves of the people inside the church. And the Prophet commented on that and said, no, they should not do that. For imagine uh, uh, the grave worshippers, they claim that they love the messenger and, and they can tell you crazy things about this. They actually go overboard expressing that love for the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and yet they oppose him uh, regarding this matter. Uh, another opposition is uh, when you travel uh, to these places to uh, uh, perform whatever you want to perform, you know, someone who leaves his house and he goes to the uh, to the house of, uh, to the uh, uh, the, 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 the graves uh, in order to perform certain rituals, whatever he want to do there. Huh? Uh, he actually opposes the messenger. The messenger of Allah said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, لا تشد الرحال إلا لثلاث مساجد. It is not allowed, not allowed for you to go out of your house to visit any masjid in the face of this earth except three. So it is forbidden for any Muslim to go out of his house to a place where they are supposed to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except al Masjid al Haram that is in Mecca, al Masjid al Nabawi that is in Medina, and al Masjid al Aqsa, and this is in Jerusalem. So uh, you see, so they oppose the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this regard as well. Uh, they also mimic the disbelievers. The tradition of uh, the grave worship is really inherited from uh, the non-Muslims. Uh, and... and you know, we know the story of the people of the cave. Uh, what is at the end of that story? When they discovered that these are the young men who uh, been hiding for almost uh, 300 years, escaping persecution because of their Tawheed. قَالَ الَّذِينَ غَلَبُوا عَلَىٰ أَمْرِهِمْ لَنَتَّخِذَنَّ عَلَيْهِمْ مَسْجِدًا those who conquered, they uh, said, we will build a masjid around their graves. Uh, those who were dominant, the, the, the people who uh, won the debate or the argument. But now winning the debate here does not mean that they were right. No, they were the, um, the dominant uh, 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 culture at the time. You know, the, the, somebody wrote that beautiful book called The Authority of the Dominant Culture. You know, that, that when you have a, a culture that dominates, it has authority. Uh, but this does not mean it's right. <laughs> it does not mean it's right, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, another violation uh, is the praising. You know, when, when you go to these graves, uh, to Rifai, to Tijani, and by the way, all those people could be righteous and pious. Allah knows best. Abdul Qadr al Jilani, for example, he has a biography out of this world. He's a scholar of Islam. And what the people make out of him, uh, I'm sure he would not condone it whatsoever. It's exactly like what they did to Jesus. Peace be upon him. The Christians, I mean. For, uh, here they are, they go to the graves of these people. And now you are this, you are that, and they end up praising. And, and uh, you know, we're not supposed to praise the dead or the living either. You know, we're not supposed to praise them. إِنَّهُمْ أَفْضَوْ إِلَىٰ خَالِقِهِمْ They turn back to their creator, so we should not uh, use that at all. ف uh, these are uh, some of the violations uh, of the uh, uh, of the grave worshippers, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, which we uh, 
showed uh, through these violations that they are uh, opposing uh, the sunnah of the Prophet uh, sallallahu alayhi uh, wa alihi uh, wa sallam. Uh, then we uh, we started talking about uh, uh, part two, which is uh, the actual, uh, you know, uh, uh, contents. Uh, and we mentioned La ilaha illallah in the Quran and La ilaha illallah in the Sunnah. And I think we explained that before. Uh, but there is a, a very important chapter, uh, which is Al uh, Wala wal Bara, which is I wish to discuss. Uh, if not this uh, session, inshallah, maybe next session. Uh, but in general, brothers and sisters in Islam, La ilaha illallah is made of two assembled together, two pieces assembled together. The first is the negation, la ilaha. The second is the affirmation, illallah. Look at this now. La ilaha is to negate, illallah is to affirm. La ilaha illallah comprises two put together. La ilaha. You have to begin with that. A lot of Muslims are unaware of this reality, of this fact. They, they believe that La ilaha illallah, that again, uh, that you believe Allah is the creator. No, you have to believe that there is no God who deserves or worthy, is worthy of worship and obedience and submission and love and fear and hope and reliance except Allah. That means if you rely upon a force, a power, a saint, someone who is wali, and Allah is shirk, you have to dismiss and affirm. Uh, look at this verse, which uh, verse 256, which came after Ayatul Kursi. After Allah, la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum. Look at this. La ikraha fi al-deen. Look. Qad tabayyana rushdu min al-ghayy. Faman yakfur bil-taghuti wa yu'min billah. Look at those two. Yakfur wa yu'min. He disbelieves and believes. He disbelieves in al-taghut and believes in Allah. What is a taghut? Whoever disbelieves in a taghut, what is a taghut? Anything which worship beside Allah. The grave, Jesus, the tree, the cow, the sun, the moon, anything, anything that is worship. You have to cancel this. Brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, Ismail al-Rahawi, one of the scholars, he said, they were about to kill me five times. Uriyda al-Sayf ala raqabati five times. Imagine that. The, the, the sword was put on my neck five times. They were asking me not to speak bad about their idols. They said, Listen, worship, worship Allah, but leave our idols alone. Leave our uh, uh, graves alone. Leave our awliya alone. Leave our uh, sheikh tariqa alone. Uh, alone. Yeah, so leave them alone. Just, just like, like many people now, they, 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 want, they want they want Muslim not to talk about uh, the false deities, and 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 this is wrong. Uh, el, el, uh, the disbelievers when they came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked him to compromise they were requesting one thing by the way don't talk about our idols 
Just speak about God, speak about Allah and worship Allah, but don't talk bad about our idols. <laughs> you, you see that? That's the compromise they wanted. And, and this is why they wanted him to accept their idols for one year. For one year. Only. One year and one year. You know? So this way, when you accept them one year, that means you approve of them. No. You see, when you do that, you're violating la ilaha illallah. Because you're, you, you're not establishing the first pillar of la ilaha you see illa allah many people do it they believe allah is god they believe allah is allah they believe that but what they don't do is la ilaha they don't negate they don't dismiss they don't say no to these idols of course we should say that in a nice way you know in a kind way you know, and 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 هذا هو ال ال الولاء والبراء. البراء is you disown, you de disassociate yourself from these idols, from anything that is worship beside Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Wanting that, we have to place that restriction there. Wanting that, why? Because there are people who are taken as gods beside Allah, like Jesus. Like Tijani, uh, like uh, I'm sorry, Jilani and others, uh, you know, reading their biography. Of course, Jesus, we know that he's innocent of that and he would disclaim them on Judgment Day. But uh, reading the biography of Abdul Qadir al Jilani, for example, uh, I'm, I'm certain that he would not condone that. He would not accept that. It, it's against his will, 100%. For, uh, that is why we say كل ما عبد بغير الله راضية. Everyone who wishes to be worshipped beside Allah سبحانه وتعالى wanting that is a taghut. Is a taghut. Also uh, another type of taghut is the one who claims the knowledge of the unseen. Uh, even we mentioned the tawaghid khams. The one who claims the knowledge of the unseen. You know, like the uh, uh, the uh, uh, like the fortune teller, but but why this one would be called taghut, brothers and and uh, and sisters in Islam? Because when you claim that you know the unseen, you're presenting yourself to the people as a deity. <laughs> uh, because knowledge of the unseen is exclusive to who? To Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Alimul Ghaybi. فَلَا يُظْهِرُ عَلَىٰ غَيْبِهِ أَحَدًا Now, if you, uh, you employ the jinn, you disbelieved already. You're a kafir already because of you, using the jinn is a kufr. وَاتَّبَعُوا مَا تَتْلُوا الشَّيَاطِينُ عَلَىٰ مُلْكِ سُلَيْمَانِ وَمَا كَفَرَ سُلَيْمَانُ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السِّحْرِ فَنَوِنْ دِي أَنْسِينَ كَلِيمِنْ دِي نَالِجْ أَفْ دِي أَنْسِينَ وَتْشْ إِزْ نَا would place that person into the area of uh, al-taghut as well. Also, another type of taghut, the people who rule uh, uh, with other uh, laws than the laws of Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this is uh, like uh, one of the uh, you know subjects, inshallah, I will plan next uh, week uh, to uh, talk about the wala wal bara uh, in more details because this is a very crucial. Uh, but this is already in the book. Uh, if you go to page one seventeen, uh, let's go back uh, to the time of the Prophet. Despite the mounting opposition to a new call to monotheism to Tawheed in Mecca, yet there was a time when the chiefs uh, of Quraysh did not. Uh, give up hope or lose hope that they would reach some compromise with the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam. And they always come to him with the uh, with the notion that you're dividing us. You're dividing a father from a mother, uh, a brother from a sister because of your call. Uh, uh, according to Abdullah ibn Abbas, the chiefs of Quraysh 
proposed to the Prophet وسلم, we shall give you so much wealth that you will become the richest man of Mecca. We shall provide you uh, whichever women you like in marriage. We are prepared to follow and obey you as our leader. Look at this now. Look at this commitment. Commitment here. What, what do they want of return? Only one condition. That you do not speak about our God's ill. <laughs> Subhanallah. <laughs> Wallahi, ikhwa. Wallahi. Uh, Subhana Rabbi. Subhana Rabbi. It's exactly now what they want. They want the Muslims not to speak about the false ways. Oh, why you're dividing, you're talking exactly like, like here. You know, uh, adopting the uh, methodology of, of, of the non-Muslims sometimes uh, creeps into our uh, system because the semantic and the uh, can, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, what do you call those can concentrics I think they say that the basics are not there in many Muslims the basics are not there the, 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 the foundation is not there and when you don't have the foundation you end up with these statements don't talk about them let them do their thing just do your thing you know some people Muslims speak like that imagine this is what they wanted right here read page 170 of the book it's what they wanted they wanted uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Imagine they will give him money They will give him wife They will give him leadership All what they want Don't speak about our gods They haven't asked him to give up Islam They haven't No They don't want So they want him to compromise what? La ilaha We're okay with illa Allah We're okay with illa Allah We like illa Allah but la ilaha no, because our gods have to be have to exist. You don't know what these gods to us. No. Another proposal that she's of Quraysh proposed that they worship Allah one year, and the Prophet would worship Allah, uh, uh, would worship their idols uh, one year. Uh, what was the response? Huh? Look, look at this. Never. Look at this. Look at this affirmation. قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ The message is conveyed here. Say, O oh, disbelievers, I don't worship what you worship, and you don't worship what I worship. But, but look at the affirmation now. Look at the affirmation. وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ ولا أنا عابد ما عبد ولا أنتم عابد ولا أنا عابد ما لكم دينكم ولي دين. Those two cannot mix together. We can't. That is why brothers and sisters in Islam, I always advise the brothers who who travel internationally and they end up in these places where they have the cross, the synagogue, and the masjid in one place. No, no, no. You see, if you're in a church and you happen to, uh, to to having to pray and the people in the church allow you to pray, uh, even though I prefer to walk out and pray outside, but if they allow you to pray, make sure that you're not facing a, an icon of shirk, it's permissible. But these orchestrated, orchestrated uh, uh, scheming that, you're okay and I'm okay, you're okay. La, 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 la. Look, in الدِّينَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الْإِسْلَامِ The religion in the side of Allah is Islam. وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينَ فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Whosoever takes for a religion other than Islam, it will not be accepted from him. Uh, that is what you believe in. Uh, also the verses قُلْ أَفَغَيْرَ اللَّهِ تَأْمُرُونِّي أَعْبُدُوا أَيُّهَا الْجَاهِلُونَ Are you asking me to worship others beside Allah, uh, you ignorant? 
فديس ار جاست سم ايدياز ان شاء الله نيكست ويك باذن الله تعالى اي ويل بي ادريسنج ذا سبجكت اوف الولاء اند البراء بيكوز ذيس از ا فيري كونتروفيرشال سبجكت ان ذا سينس اوف ميني بيبول دو نوت ماستر ات اند اند وي هاف اكستريمز يو سي برذرز اند سيسترز ان اسلام اسلام تيتشز اس ذات ان سبايت of you having this opposition but yet you need to treat the people who follow these uh, religions which you oppose with respect with kindness as long as they are not combatant we have a caller assalamu alaikum alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah naam name state and question do you have a question yes i do uh, name is uh, muhammad karam uh, calling from alberta in canada yes muhammad yes uh, Regarding the shaving the beard, I'm not sure if that was a topic today, but uh, you have one question regarding that. Yeah, it's it's haram. We shouldn't do it. Yeah, I know. Yes, it's haram. Yeah, we shouldn't do it. So, but uh, in Alberta, we work we work in the uh, the oil field. Okay. And uh, in the plant, they want you to be clean shaved because uh, there might be H2S and some gases. They say you need to be clean shaved. So uh, for safety reasons, they say you have to shave. So it. Is that a valid point for somebody to shave or uh, not? Well, I would try to look for a, another job because I don't know why, what shaving has to do with the with the gas. I mean, you want to tell me that uh, the gas is going to get to your beard? Is that what we have or, or what are we talking about but, here? Yeah, as I said, that is, in, case of, uh, is, in case of a rescue, they Muhammad, want you to be clean shaved. Muhammad, mask or, Muhammad let, me, let me ask you, has, yeah. has it been established by evidence that there is uh, danger on your life uh, if you are not shaved and working in that field of, uh, of uh, petroleum or they just assume that and you know if if this is an assumption I shouldn't be building my religion on assumption and I should present to them with a, a document that I'm a Muslim and having a beard is, is a requirement yeah. for me and I should be exempt from that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's a life yeah. uh, endangering. Uh, it is not a fact at all. I, I doubt it. I mean, people used to have beard all the time. I mean, not having beard yeah, is the art. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I know. I know uh, the Prophet ﷺ recommended Alayhi to Sato keep Sato. our beards. But yeah. Uh, no, he did yes, not. He, he did not recommend. It's actually mandatory upon the men to yes, have he ordered, a beard. Yeah, sorry. Yes, all right, go ahead. He ordered, he ordered. So they say, let's say there is a gas leak in the plant, and uh, in case of a rescue, you need to have be clean shaped so for for to, to have like a mask fit. So if you have yes, beard, the mask is so, not going to so fit So why so face. so why not make a mask that fit your beard? You yeah, see, unfortunately, I think I it. think it it should be the responsibility of the uh, Muslims to educate these non-Muslims about the fact that beard is mandatory yes beard is mandatory and you need no. to design these masks you need to the uh, 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 you need to work on 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 educating them about yes. accommodating that instead of uh, stripping uh, out of islam to get a job i think they need to uh, you need to let them know that having a beard is mandatory yeah. in Islam. Now, please design the masks to fit my beard. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Jazakallah yeah, khairan, Muhammad. Sure. Barakallah feek. Assalamu alaikum. Sure. All right. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, you can give me a call, inshallah. Uh, I don't know if we have questions from the chat or not, but... Um, uh, that's enough for today because uh, Maghrib is approaching here. Jazakumullah uh, khaira. Inshallah, we'll uh, see you next week. Uh, we see, we have the Maqasidic Tafsir on Wednesday, inshallah. And uh, ta'ala, next week uh, we will address that chapter of the book uh, about the Wala and the Bara. Jazakumullah khaira. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu Allah ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. 
وإذ قال إبراهيم رب اجعل هذا البلد آمنا واجنبني وبني أن نعبد الأصنام رب إنهن أضللن كثيرا من الناس فمن تبعني فإنه مني ومن عصاني فإنك غفور رحيم ربنا إني أسكنت من ذريتي بواد غير ذي زرع عند بيتك المحرم ربنا ليقيموا الصلاة فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم وارزقهم من الثمرات لعلهم يشكرون 